Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Wendy. Today we're going to be doing a Trash to Treasure Goodwill project, three of them actually. And if you like this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button so we can notify you every time we upload a new one. So to start with, we hit the Goodwill at my local Goodwill store and I got three different items. The first is this IKEA mirror. It's wood and it looks like it was first at the Salvation Army, it didn't sell there, and then it went to Goodwill, and so I got it for 89 cents, but it's good quality wood, um, it's a little dirty, but we're gonna do something cute with that. Then I got these two pretty ugly candy candle holders, but um, we're gonna paint these and make these into uh, something cute as well. I got those for a dollar each. And then I got this jug that, um, was for some kind of alcohol or something. And I was kind of sad to, to paint over it because it's uh, from a local brewery company that's near our, our hometown here. But so to start with, we're gonna have uh, three different types of material, always using these cotton stems from Walmart for $4. I used a couple of sheets of black cardstock and then some painter's tape, and then two mason jar lids that come apart. Um, and so that we're gonna use those. It, they happen to fit right over my candle holder, so that was perfect. This, this is a Dollar Tree little um, container. These are the magnetic ones. I don't know if they still have them, but I got that a while back. Some scissors, the candle holders that were from Goodwill. And then from Target, they have these party straws. They're just um, cardboard, and I had them from uh, leftovers from my sister's 50th birthday party. And then some Waverly white chalk paint, my glue gun, and a paintbrush. So we start off by painting the candle holders and I just used the white chalk paint. It covered pretty well but I did end up doing uh, two coats and it looked really good and the finish was nice and smooth once it dried. So now using this black cardstock I made a template to form the shape of a Christmas tree or a cone shape and so I just rolled it around and taped it so that it would stay together and I wanted to make sure that the bottom opening was wide enough but snug enough to hold that ring of the, um, the jar lid. So I cut both of them out and then once I got them together and folded the way I wanted, rolled into a cone, I checked to make sure that it held it in there, and it did, and then I just popped it back out and then taped it so that it would stay secure. And I'm gonna cover these with the fabric that I showed you earlier so that blue painter's tape won't show. Once I got it on there and made sure that it fit, I cut off any excess. And then using some scrap material, I took my glue gun and adhered it down to the cardstock and then rolled it over onto itself cut off the excess fabric and then glued the other half as well and when you're doing this you want to kind of make sure that you're pulling tight because as you can see my um, piece of material is just a scrap piece so it's you know kind of kept in a pile and it got wrinkled so I just pressed it down into the glue and then like I said rolled it but I'm tugging on it pretty securely to get all of the wrinkles out. And then you're gonna take the glue gun and adhere the other side and cut off the excess. So now taking the rim of that lid, I'm putting hot glue on the inside and just gluing it to the top of that candle holder. And then after that, I am finishing the edges at the bottom of the tree 
with glue and then just um, folding it over. And if you do it real quickly, this is a low temp hot glue gun, but it doesn't burn. So if you kind of just push it in there real quick, it, it goes perfectly. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like. And I'm just gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna use the solid black fabric and just use the same method of gluing and rolling and cutting off the excess. So now that both of my trees are covered, I'm going to embellish the black one with some buffalo check ribbon. And I just tied a knot in the middle and then did the dovetailing at the ends of both of them. And so I am going to make a little line of these small little bows. And on here, I'm only putting three, but I end up putting four by the time I'm done because it needed one more, I think, at the top. And he was a little bit smaller, so it kind of tapered um, the largest at the bottom and then moving up towards the top with the smallest. wanted to make sure that these looked like Christmas trees so I thought they needed stars on top so what I did was cut these uh, cardboard straws in half and then I angled the tops just using a pair of scissors and I kind of cut them in different angles so that they wouldn't all be the same and then for the base I made sure to leave the bottom straight across so I would know which one was the bottom and then those angles kind of just made mitered corners to attach to the base and using lots of glue I just stuck them on there it's kind of tedious but it looks so cute in the end I decided to go ahead uh, after I made the first one and do it for both of them so I just alternated the different patterns making sure that it you know had a, a non exact pattern so that they were all different and I think they turned out really cute. Here's the one on the left that hasn't been cut yet because I'm waiting for it to dry. So while it's drying, I took that container and I'm actually gonna use these to make the levels of the candle holders different, a little more chunky. So I thought they were just a little too flat and they were both the same size and I like the staggered look. So the top I used for one and the bottom I used for the other and just flipped them over and used hot glue to attach them. And then I'm gonna paint them and it looks like it's part of the candle holder. You can't even tell that it's uh, been added to it once you get the paint on. And the little gap of where I actually put the glue and attached them, you wanna get a lot of, of the paint in there because it looks like it's just part of the wood. So after the glue had dried on the straws, I went ahead and cut the little parts of the star down and I used an angle again and I alternated these as well just randomly so that they weren't all the same direction and I thought that gave it a little bit of added interest to it and I think they're so cute. So then I just took hot glue and attached them to the tops of each of the trees and because the straw is opened at the top it will go right on top of the closing part or the tip of that cone and it stays very secure. Now 
Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you've seen me use the same black bow for quite a few of my DIYs. They're from a bunch of centerpieces that I had for my sister's 50th birthday party. And so they're always coming in handy and they're the perfect uh, size. So now I'm gonna go ahead and distress the candle holders with just a very, very dry brush of some gray and black and white and just rubbing very most of it off. I'm gonna take the brush and just rub it over the raised areas just to give it a distressed look and to kind of combine where I added those container parts to raise the candle holders. So I think these turned out super cute. And once you put the tops onto them, here's how they turn out. And the really cool thing about this is that, first of all, they're totally coordinating with each other, but I can change them out for the different seasons. So like for Easter or New Year's or something. So that I think is really cool. So our next project, I'm gonna use that um, wine jar jug thing. Again, it was $2.99 at Goodwill. And I'm also gonna be using some Buffalo check ribbon. Um, this spool has lasted me a long time. It was $9.99 at Hobby Lobby, um, half price though. And then my Silhouette Cameo 3, I cut out this design that I made and I'll um, use that on the front. And then my Waverly white chalk paint, a glue gun, and I had some different brushes just because I wasn't sure how the finish was gonna look on that glass. And then an ornament from Dollar Tree. So first thing I did was get all the ick off of the jar and I just used some Windex and cleaned it really well. And that was also gonna make sure that my paint laid flat and was nice and smooth for my vinyl decal to adhere to. I ended up giving this uh, two coats of the white chalk paint and because there's drying time in between I put it on top of a paper towel so I could slide it over while I was working on something else and then I had a small little paintbrush that I used to get into the little nooks and crannies behind the handle and I also painted inside the the bottle opening and this is where I cut out my stent uh, not stencil but my um, decal using the silhouette suite and I have it on auto blade so it makes it really easy because I don't have to input the force or the speed or anything it just does it automatically so once I pulled off the main part of the vinyl then I just went ahead and weeded it and this is a kind of um intricate little pattern it has really thin lines as well so you have to be careful when you're pulling up the vinyl not to take any of the letters with you so i'm getting better at using my uh, cameo but i got the best um, advice from a subscriber new subscriber gina cole who told me to put the transfer tape on a pair of jeans to kind of make it less sticky and so I did that and I mean it was just completely a different world so thank you Gina for reaching out and giving me that little nugget of wisdom that I will use forever so once I got it transferred over I'm gonna decide where I want it on my jug and then just press it down um, start in the middle before you get it on there because it will stick pretty quickly so and then just using my little squeegee tool, I pressed it on there and made sure that it stayed down. And then look how easy this is coming up. I love it. So this is a whole new world for me because I've always had trouble with the transfer tape for some reason. But here's how it turned out and I think it's super, super cute. So now I'm gonna make a little bow for the top and I need to make it semi-small because the jug is, you know, it's not huge so I don't want my ribbon to uh, cover my words because they're so cute and so I just um, folded the ribbon over itself and then just with one loop on each each side and here's where a second set of hands would come in handy like my granddaughter but I just uh, tied a piece of jute twine around it to make the bow and then the dovetailing at the end always makes everything look so cute but um, 
when you have the two tails, one of them will be in front. So you just want to kind of maneuver that towards the back so it, it's not sticking out in front. And then I took the Dollar Tree ornament that I love, these little skis, and just uh, used hot glue and adhered that to the front of the bow. And I think he turned out super cute too. And finally for our final DIY project, Trash to Treasure, I took the um, Ikea mirror and got it all cleaned up. He was in pretty rough shape, but I took some painter's tape and uh, masked off where the mirror was because I was going to be painting all of the wood. And sorry my hair is in the way, but um, I used my Zacto knife to cut off the edges so it was a nice clean edge um, with the painter's tape. And then just using the white Waverly chalk paint, I painted over this and I gave it a couple of coats and it turned out really good. With each coat, it just gets better and better because every time it dries, it takes out any of the lines or unevenness because I really don't think I'm a good painter, but the chalk paint kind of disguises my mistakes and makes it look like I can actually paint. So make sure you get the edges and then this is it after the first coat. So now I'm going to be um, embellishing it with some of the Dollar Tree metal words and then this ornament that is a little sleigh. He's so cute and I love the little greenery and, and red and black buffalo check on the side. And then a piece of scrap gingham and then of course another one of my handy dandy pre-made centerpiece bows. So for the second coat, I just kind of got it wet and wanted to keep the idea of what the original wood looked like. And it had those really nice thick um, mitered edges on all four corners. So here, after I laid down the first, that second uh, coat of paint, it's wet enough that I can take my sponge brush and go at an angle to kind of show off those lines because I really liked it. So you'll go at the line, but then just go halfway up. So your brush is at a 45 degree angle. And I think it turned out really cute and kind of looks like it is it was mitered this way with, with the white wood. So now I had to decide which word I wanted to use. And I think um, because the word believe was the longest, I wanted to um, have something go all the way across. So it was the perfect size and it kind of went with the theme of the little sleigh. Like, you know, if you believe in Santa or, you know, Saint Nick, since I'm Catholic. But I just pulled off or bent down the little part that hangs on as an ornament where the twine was. And then I like the little gar uh, embellishment on the side here, but I wanted to make it a little more substantial. So I took him off. He was only attached with a piece of wire and then just kind of deconstructed him, gave the little buffalo check uh, bow, some dovetails of course, and then added a piece of greenery that I have a bunch of these, I think from an old tree or one of those miniature trees. And, um, oh, you know, I think what those are, the little twisties. You can buy the twisties at Dollar Tree that are actually greenery. And I use those to hang on um, ornaments so that you're not seeing the silver hanging mechanisms, you know. So anyway, then I just um, glue gunned everything together and then put the little uh, miniature pine cone on there. And I think that made him a lot cuter. Now, you know, I love to pull up some tape and I don't know why, but this is so therapeutic and you can see the results instantly. I guess I like the instant gratification, but um, when I pulled this tape up, it had perfect lines and just clean off your mirror and then it was ready to you know, get embellished. Now you could go two ways with this. And if you like, I, I like this look, this was kind of a more modern look and clean lines. And if you just have the red uh, buffalo check, if you were just decorating in the red and black, that would be perfect. I think it looked really cute, but I had to add some of the black and white because that's what my decor is. And so I took another scrap piece of the black and white gingham 
and just cut it across uh, one of the geometric lines. Put another black um, bow on top and then here's where I straightened it out because it was, you know, like I said, it's a scrap piece so it's cut all unevenly and everything. So I just made it a little uh, straighter and then using hot glue I adhered it on the back and kind of made it a little bit tight so that it, you know, wasn't sagging but it was completely straight across and hot glued both sides and then I'm going to attach my little sleigh on the right side there. First I'm going to adhere my believe and this was kind of, you have to work fast on this because this is the metal and all of a sudden you know it'll go cold real quick and I had my ceiling fan on and so I had to do it a couple times but then I glued my sleigh on. Now I should have done my next step before I put that on but it was an afterthought. Um, here I'm going to put my bow on the top and then get that all nicely secured. But then I wanted to add some jute twine at the bottom. And so like I said, I should have done this had I thought of it, I would have. But um, I wanted to wrap it a couple of times at the bottom just for a little more interest and for that little rusticy uh, flare. And so I just tied it, but I had to feed it through the back of the uh, sleigh which was a little more difficult, but I, all in all, it still turned out really cute. And here it is all done. And then I'm gonna show you all three of the projects. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did I hope you will give it a thumbs up and comment and let me know what you thought and if you wouldn't mind if you hit that subscribe button I can let you know every time I do a new DIY. Thank everybody for watching and have a blessed day. Bye!